Um, you know, and regardless of, as I said, you know, some of the off-field antics, etc., the stats do not care what is happening off-field. On-field, statistically, Guild is the better team on the day. So they should have the advantage if they can maintain at least the same level of play that they've been going with. Of course, it doesn't help when you run into the buzzsaw that is top blows to the opening round. But, <laughs> alas, somebody's got to play them. Today, it had to be fade away. We are underway with game one as Ocelon called on very early to make a save. We've seen fade away. They have certainly punched up oh. and have come through in the clutch many times. Ocelot opens the scoring here, and this is just a challenge that ends up in the net. Could you say it punched up at any more perfect of a time, right as you say right. that comes up, uppercut, right into the upper right 90, on the mark, and uh, you know, they're gonna open it up, so fade away here. Gonna have the early lead over Guild. Uh, bad. That was a sketchy back pass there. That could have been a goal. Luckily, uh, Tigri did not pull that one out for them. And a little bit of a little bit of hard touches here. Not really trying to carry these ones out. Double commit situation there. So Freaky did need to get a bit of a clear. You don't want to get stuck in that position where you have two people on the ball. So you want to create some space. So somebody to definitely watch out for. And the guy that I think is going to be the big determining factor here on whether Guild pulls this one out or not is going to be Nolly. He's going to be somebody I'm looking to throughout the series. He's had some pretty big goals. He was having a lot of fun doing some pretty nutty mechanics there while they were uh, server testing. And uh, he's he's somebody to keep an eye on throughout this series. The Really, th this whole guild team is a team to keep your eye on because they change so often. Yeah. I mean, you, you you will see teams over the course of a regional look so oh. good in one game and different in the next. And right now, they do not look like the guild team that is outscoring the opposition on the day. Tigre comes up here in a hurry. And, boy, if you're letting Tigre run wild, look out because he is not one of the leading scorers on this fadeaway squad. This could be dangerous now for Guild. For Guild right now, the uh, stats wise, it, it, which is kind of interesting, is that the offensive pressure goes Nolly, Tho, and then Scrub's pretty far behind. Scrub's kind of their defense, their third man, which is to me a bit weird knowing, you know, where Scrub's come from and how good of a, uh, a player and solo ability and how much, you know, talent he has. It's interesting to see that he's he's kind of the third man today. Nolly gonna find one in traffic here off a pass from Tho, and he's gonna bring it back within one. So what much of touch. the conversation, yeah, wow. So much of the conversation around teams uh, boils down to what is their potential, which kind of makes me roll roll my eyes at times because if we're talking about potential, yeah. then you know, great, you can have potential, but that just means you don't have anything right now. But at their peak. Guild is a very scary team, and I'll tell you why. Remember the last regional? They absolutely hated each other and needed to take a break from comms, and things were an absolute dumpster fire. They still made the playoffs and probably should have won their quarterfinal match in the playoffs. When this team is on... When they're on the same page, when they're firing on when, all cylinders... When they're on speaking terms? They might... <laughs> right. They might be one of the three or four best teams in Europe. And that's scary because they could be peaking at about the right time if they could get into the playoffs here. It's both scary and, and disappointing for me to it, like, let's say that is true. We don't know all the all the details in the background, but we sure. can hypothesize. Tigri going to come right through the middle off a pass from Ocelon, scores another, and they have another security goal as they open up the, the uh, score differential to plus two. Uh, but it's it's scary to think about that, right? You have a team that has X potential, but you've got a team that doesn't always talk to each other. In comms, if you look at the top teams in the world and you watch some of their videos and listen to comms, like NRG's comms are so good. It's something that we talked about on the grid um, with Lawler and it's it's super important. It You are not going to reach your potential without solid comms. It's just not going to happen. So to think that there's a team that's this talented that ends up in situations like that, it, it's a bit heartbreaking for me. Well, they look like a team that is certainly on the same page right now. They are trailing by two goals, but opportunities have certainly been there. The passing has been on point. 
for Guild here in game one. The opportunities will be there. This continues. Brookkiller losing possession out of the corner. Interference in the Ooh, net. No, they could not go. get free, and Freaky will make them pay. Yeah, Aslan gonna go in there, slows down, makes that hard cut, catches Nolly as he lands and just pins him in that back corner, opens up that net. That's about as free a goal as Freaky's gonna see. So Guild's getting blown out here in game one. That means they're gonna win the series, right? If that last series is any indication between Galaxy Racer and Oxygen, if you didn't see that series, well, I, you missed just a clown show. 5-2 to Galaxy Racer in game one, and then Oxygen came back and clapped it right it back. Was, it was a <laughs> good clown show, though. We got to game five. It was, yeah. Eventually, eventually <laughs> the series made sense. Everything up to game four, four yeah. was just like, okay, I don't know what we're watching. But here we are, as Guild is trying to find their way against Fadeaway, and you know, Fadeaway, a team that uh, they opened a lot of eyes. We mentioned this yesterday. With their performance in the second regional, they too were a surprise playoff team. A scrub killer will try to play this through. He runs into Ocelon. That'll slow down the guild attack as teams continue to go through the motions. But another team in fadeaway that wouldn't surprise you at this stage to see them make a run in one of these regionals because teams are certainly starting to pick up the pace. Scrub Killer gonna try and bring this one in in trash time. Freaky. Degree. 5-1. That's not that's not good for you, Guild. We watched this happen in the last series. 5-1 in round one. You need to either win 4-1 or just some other score than 5-1 in game two. Game two can't be a 5-1. Otherwise, we're seeing a repeat of the last series. And right now, it kind of appears that way. It's it's been that was not that was not good play out of guild that did not that no point was that series a match. No, it was not. But again, game one certainly just doesn't matter. As we've seen so often, you know, we, we've seen a team blow a team out in game one. You see some bad habits develop a little bit along the way. Game two, completely different game, almost a reversal of fortune. And then you go into game three and you just flip a coin. And from there, all bets are off. So I, one game, a very small sample size for two teams like Guild and Fadeaway that are Absolutely. so far up and down over the course of a day. Man, I came real close to accidentally clicking the wrong button. We all almost ended oh up with a four-man team there. Oh, boy. I, on, like, yes. I, I know we're not on the rival series anymore, but like we've got... We're, we've got a proud history here. We don't make those mistakes, all right? Got to keep it up. Good job. Unless unless you're Spaceman week one on the grid. Uh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I give him a pass. <laughs> you know what? You probably that's use Spaceman a, on the such, field. It's such a great clip, though. It really was. <laughs> okay. It really was. <laughs> so... How about Guild? Can they turn things around here against Fadeaway? They're at least on the right side of the field to do so, but for how long? Scrub Killer. Quickly after this, Ocelon just a little bit quicker. Tho to the backboard, easily cleared by Tigre, but not out of the zone. Here's Tho for Noli. Noli's shot goes well wide. Looked like it was adjusted by Ocelon, and then Freaky's got to scramble and does stop Noli. All right. Uh, nothing really happening once again this this feels a bit more like the start of a match one level feeler where nothing's really coming out it doesn't seem like a lot of intent just trying to make clears over each other not really sending anything on target that might be one of the first ones it's kind of a good pass down ocelon ends up skying it wide or not skying it sending it wide across the line That's a good ball by Tho, getting over top of Ocelon. But Freaky brings us right back in. Rub Killer, oh boy, what a read by Tigre. All over that Ooh. ball, and Noli had the sole read on Freaky. Right place, right time. Freaky couldn't convert on a very tight angle to follow up. Now Scrub Killer's got to have this clear. They're without Noli for a moment. He's trying to find his positioning as Tho will boom this downfield and relieve a lot of pressure. Oh, man. I was just trying to stay quiet there. I thought Ocelon had that one. 
He was up in position looking for that cherry pick. Freaky gonna go ahead and dish that one across. Good touch before he gets removed from the field and Ocelon bangs one through the corner and into the midfield volleyball match we go. Yeah, back and forth, waiting for somebody to make a critical mistake. Could be there. Ocelot shot, saved away by Tho. No follow-up there from Fadeaway as Nolly will play this through. Tigre intercepting there. Does he have anybody downfield with him? Absolutely not. Scrub killer throwing right, right back whence it came. But now Tigre, second touch. That threw off Ocelot as he backflips in place. Back downfield comes Guild Esports. Looking for the first strike here in game two. Very different game as they're not trailing by two or three goals at this point. Nolly one-on-one -on -one with Ocelon, but Ocelon got there first. Ball just a little too far ahead of Nolly. A little bit of a battle here on the side wall. Freaky trying to get a little bit aggressive, looking for some bumps there, trying to find some opportunities that he can try and open. And that's something that really hasn't happened a ton. We did see a couple bump plays um, in, in round number one or game one here. But that's something that I haven't seen either of these teams kind of maximize upon yet is, is really making sure in that rotation as you come through, you get as much out of that as possible, whether it's steal a boost, look for a bump, disrupt the line. A lot of this has just been kind of attack on net. We don't have an opportunity. Turn back out, get back in rotation and just trying to get it done, waiting for a mistake rather than creating opportunities. So oh, up the ladder here for Nolly. Got Ooh. it down, but wide. And Freaky will have that anyways. Good intercept by Scrub Killer. He get that corner boost. He does. Though is waiting for Tigre to give up possession. He has, but they both go for the block. Nobody makes contact. So Nolly will have to come up. That could have been Scrub's ball, but Ocelon chased him off the play right around midfield. We saw Ixo do that a few times, especially with Chaussette. Scrub killer up the ladder this time. That's going to be high. And Tigre has got to have this clear, but he's just too slow. Nolly beaten out by Freaky. Huge clear for fadeaway as Scrub killer brings that right across the face of the goal with nobody else charging. So up for this one in the corner. Going to beat out Ocelon underneath him, though. And Nolly there to take this one out. We'll see if they can get something going here on either side. Both of them, a lot of the shots kind of coming from the midfield, giving a lot of time for somebody to get back and make a touch. Opportunities currently was in the hands of uh, of fadeaway there. Guild shot over Freaky in a bad position. Though gonna finish it off. 14 seconds on the clock, and Guild finally puts one on the board and may have just secured themselves game number two. Yeah, Nolly opens this opportunity up. Nobody else to follow up the play at midfield except Though, and he comes through in a huge, huge way. One nil for Guild as they try to tie up the series. And again, Supersonic, two games that have been drastically different. 5-1, one nothing for now. Fade away on the right side of the field, looking for an equalizer late. All Freaky can do is keep the ball in the air, but Nolly's got free range to do whatever. Couldn't spike it down. Ocelot should have this, and he can at least move forward. They don't have numbers, but Ocelon got his flip oh. reset, and it's denied by Scrub. Both Follow up, stopped by Tho, and Ocelon's got to throw this downfield and hope somebody can get under it. Nobody <laughs> can, and Guild will hang on. Finally, Guild kept that one up for a while, and they finally decided, you know what, It's uh, this, this just isn't worth it. Let's go ahead and ground this one out. There's been a couple danger moments here, and really, defense of Guild... Uh, Really getting it done there. Eight saves on their side. Three to Scrub, two to Throw, three to Nolly, and keeping them alive against a couple threatening shots from Fadeaway. Again, a lot of these shots kind of coming from the middle, but uh, Throw and Nolly had a couple really close saves where they double committed, and the second one was able to make those saves. We're going to take just an extra moment between games, it looks like, so Freaky can uh, get back in here, and we'll be ready to go for game three. But yeah, again, just a... a Typical European series at this point. Two teams that played two very different games from game one to game two. Just the hallmark of round five of one of these tournaments. Even when it's, uh, whether it's stage one or stage two, we just see teams, th there's, I don't know if it's a lack of consistency or if it's just, uh, just 
natural uh, play here with, uh, again, you see a 5-1 game in game one, one nothing in game two. Last series, he had uh, Galaxy drop five goals on Oxygen. Oxygen returned with five goals on Galaxy Racer. When the teams are so evenly matched, those blowouts over the course of a series just kind of make you raise an eyebrow like, what? Yeah, it's one of those like, what happened? And then and then we get this kind of turnaround. Like typically it'll slow down a little bit. We'll see something happen, but straight back to a 1-0. It's like, well, what did we just watch? What what happened in the first game? What, what was actually going on there? Um, we'll see if we can start figuring things out here in game three as we have seen drastically different matches. Nully gonna be able to take that one out. Clear, ah, Freaky not in position. Thought he was gonna be over there. Uh, looking for that pass down field opportunity there, but Ocelon not able to get the read as he thought Freaky was gonna make another touch on that. Tigri, oh my though. goodness. He's gonna put one in. What was this? What that is this? That sat there forever and Tigre comes oh up my. and scores the shot of the day. Are you kidding me? This guy averaged about half a goal a game yesterday. He's got four goals in this series. You, uh, what would Spaceman say there? You dirty man, you. Ba bam Something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was just saying, drop a ba bam <laughs> in there, too. Oh! And this almost goes in, but Scrub Killer barely gets back for the save. And Scrub and Nolly almost double commit. Scrub called him off at the last moment. Freaky oh. over Nolly, <laughs> but there's though for the stop. And he does at least get by Tigre. Seems to be the man to beat right now. Four kill. Ocelon. Oh, he dances his way through along the side, but Nolly's got the stop. Now Tho's got to get this downfield around Freaky, and he can't beat Tigre. Scrub killer. As Nolly waiting behind him. Got this out there to him. Nolly's shot low and wide. What a turn there in the box right on the post from Tigre to go ahead and get that one to just roll her out really quick. Knows that all the players are either mid or on that right or on their left or the other team's right and able to get that turnaround just so quick with that pivot. Ends up getting demoed out, but that really kind of alleviated all that pressure from them. Scrub killer. Well, he actually got bumped by Ocelon, so that disrupts the play a little bit. Freaky. Oh, he's going to try to score from there. That's ambitious. Tigre up to Ocelon. Better play for fadeaway, but the shot goes high. Follow up now from Freaky Ooh. is off the mark as well. Open and Tigre has an open net and he puts it right between the eyes. Fadeaway. Unable to put a point on the board in game two. Two minutes in, two on the board here for Tigre. I wonder what's going on to these players sometimes. We got 3 3 to go in game number three as Fadeaway has a two goal lead. Can they add to it? Backboard, though. Good read. But he hit Scrub Killer, just ball didn't go where Scrub wanted it to. Freaky tried to drop down to Ocelon. No, instead he took the shot and so made the save slash clear. Now Tigre looking to hit Freaky. He could not. This ball goes back down Guild's way. Can they get any offense going with it? Though, good ball downfield, but again, nobody able to charge forward and take advantage. Holy now, he's gonna bring this one out. Guild needs to find something. They need to get some sort of rhythm here going. They need to either, either somebody's gotta step up offensively and get some solo plays going, or they need to start figuring out how to get these connections, looking for that bump play as he comes through his scrub. He's gonna get a second one though, as he comes back through the net, makes a touch. And they are starting to speed up here. Guild starting to make some good touches, maintain possession, great pass down to throw from Nolly. That shot's gonna be wide though. And Freaky looking to catch him out. Nolly able to make that save. So he'll try to carry this downfield himself. Instead, Tigre. Basically been the Grim Reaper in this series. There to meet him. Scrub killing oh. out and Nolly got the shot off and Tigre makes the stop again. Boy, every time Guild looks like they're gonna get something going, Tigre does something on either the offensive or defensive end. This time, it's defense. As he comes up with a huge stop, a couple of them actually. Now he stops Nolly there. He'll start to go down. No, he turned around. He is waiting for boost. Open oh, net, what a win Tigre by again, punches yes, it. Yes, sir. Oh. 
Are easy you money. Me? I, easy money goals. He's got six goals. I don't think he had six goals all of yesterday. Are you kidding me? Coming into this series, Freaky, he's been their shooter today. He's been the hot hand. He's the one that gets the goals done for them. Not here, though. Against Guild, Tigri, just there every time to finish up. So that number one and number two going in, Tigri and Ocelon have just been opening the door and letting Tigri just kind of come in, no brain, make touches, easy goals. Also now going the way to Scrub Killer as the defense just kind of slowly rolls out here. Not sure what Freaky was doing. He's just kind of cruising, immediately realizes he's messed up and makes the turn the wrong direction. Also turning into Tigri there, slowing him down, not allowing him to have an opportunity to uh, come across the line. I would not count Guild out just yet. They got a shot on the kickoff, but Tigre, of course, made the stop. That's a big one for Fadeaway as they try to hold on in this game and stop perhaps a furious comeback charge on the part of Guild. So looking to hit Nolly. Didn't quite get the power that Nolly was hoping for. Now Ocelon, that's right at Strupkilla. An opportunity now for Guild to get back within one. Make a game out of this game three. Ocelon, good ball out to the side. Not making it easy for Guild. Ooh. That pass, oh wow! Right on the nose of Nully! In traffic. Just a fantastic pass here from Scrub. Gets that flick, all the power in the world from him onto Nolly, and you get an 85 mile per hour because, you know, I'm American. I still have to listen to mile per hours. A whole lot of kilometers per hour straight into the net. And look out, chance off the kickoff though. Tho got knocked into orbit and nobody could follow up the play for Guild. Unfortunate missed opportunity, Ooh. but they have all the momentum. They're just running downhill right now. Nolly drop down for oh. Tho. It goes through. Nolly keeps this in front, but nobody could come up. Scrub was too far back. And out now he's going to get here to stop a shot and does, but there's no time left. And now Guild has to scramble down the field. They need bodies forward. They have Scrub Killa. Nolly throw denied by Freaky, and that touches down. And Fadeaway takes the lead in the series. Whew. Man, right at the end there, that play, Scrub Killa had no boost. That was the problem. It was all set up. Everything was there. It was in his hands, but he just didn't have the boost to say, I can commit to this. We've almost had an opportunity for a zero second goal there. Go to OT. Game three, though, gonna go the way of the fadeaway as they do take the lead here. And now, all the pressure on Guild. Fadeaway, win and you're in. Guild, losing you're out. Tigre with a hat trick in game three. He's got six goals in this series. He scored 10 goals in 21 games yesterday. That's insane. Boy, Tigre is having himself a series when Fadeaway needs him most. Now we go to the Forbidden Temple as Fadeaway tries to move on into tomorrow's playoffs. Game four. A lot on the line here for both teams trying to make the playoffs tomorrow, get an opportunity to make a run at a regional championship see who can piece it together if guild's going to be able to stay in this one or if we're going to be out in four freaky going to be up over throw and looking to take it down against guild again slow start here it's the, these opening seconds between these two teams have really felt almost the exact same for the opening 45 seconds each game where it's just this slow pace until they finally find that rhythm and they start getting it going Picarella, they said it best, uh, talking about Exet's run through the North American Regional last weekend. First 10 or 15 seconds of every game. There's oh. obviously some nerves, but then they subside, and it's Scrub Killer scoring his second goal of the series. A huge start for Guild. Huge mistake on the side of Fadeaway as both Freaky and Ocelon double commit up for that ball. Neither of them landing properly on the recovery on the wall to be able to come back and then cover the net, having to take a little bit of extra time, which just opened that one up wide and Scrub Killer made him pay. Guild comes in with the second highest shooting percentage in all of Europe today finally converting on some of their opportunities. It took them a little while, especially in game three. They do finally come through and they've got a lead in game four. 
What else is new? It's just that kind of bizarre series. Scrub Killer. Uh, he was trying to save his wave dash as well to force his way through that ball, but Freaky held his ground. Now Tigre. Downfield looking for Ocelon. Back to Tigre. No, it's Ocelon's shot. Might have been better served getting a pass off as Doli was able to read that play very easily. Oh, that's a double commit though at midfield. That could cost Guild. Tigre trying to get back across the center line and get fade away on the attack. Tigre, his shot is saved by Scrub Killer. Noli now up against Ocelon, not gonna be able to get it done. And really so far they have been able to break out. And there has been a few more bumps. There's actually a little bit more aggression on the side of Guild so far. Also looking on their rotations right now out wide was uh, Tho in the background. He was actually going wide. He stole both mid boosts. So starting to try and control that boost, not allow uh, Fade Away to stay down here offensively. They're really trying to make sure that they maintain the speed, presence, and pressure that's going on. They don't want to let Fade Away get into a rhythm. Ocelon down to Freaky. Ooh, oh, what a net. block by Scrub Killer. But yeah, now it's a jailbreak back the other way. Three on O, and it's Nolly. What? Who makes it 2-0? What is going on here? Fade away, you're up in the series. And you're playing like your back's against the wall. You're having mistakes and double commit issues that we haven't seen a ton of throughout the series. Why is it coming out now? What has changed? You should feel less pressure at the moment. You know, sometimes just playing with Playing on this stage, it just does things to players sometimes. You're in round five, and sometimes just the the slightest thing being off can throw off an entire team. Drop Killer, looking for Nolly. Oh, drops down in front of the fadeaway net. Didn't quite have the angle he was looking for. Drop Killer now, blocked by Tigre. It just seems like this is Guild's game to control unless Fadeaway can step up and just seize control from them. Though so here in the corner, Guild really being comfortable, just kind of going back. They're not over committing on offense at this point. They're up 2-0. They know that their back's against the wall. Right now is the time that you just eat clock and they're staying really wide in their rotation. They're always making sure somebody's in net. They have people there, secondaries. A lot of the times they've got the third man back as well, and they're not doubling up. And why? Why do they do this to me? Every time I try to <laughs> praise you, you do this. I, I think we just need to see the dark side of Supersonic come out. I, I just, you know, go ahead and just thrash them. And maybe, <laughs> maybe somebody will score. If you just go like, Just attack you know, them. Okay. Just, just say T Gray's trash and he'll score. You won't. I know you won't. You uh, don't have it in you. T Gray. You're just the. Uh, T Gray. Uh. You are the best looking trash on the field. Is, is that like a, a, a positive and a negative? I can't, I, I can't, you know, I can't I, stay I with think, it. I can't stay I, with it. Yeah, no, no I don't think that's He's gonna killing work. It. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't say it, man. Yeah, how, how could I say it? He's the guy that's scoring all the goals. Chat, Supersonic is so toxic. I said the words I, I don't felt know. bad, man. Instantly, like instantly. Yeah. Uh. yeah, I don't, I don't know why they. I'm not gonna like, sleep all the night. It's gonna be, it's. I'm gonna feel guilty, man. It's... All right. Whoa. Well, I'll let you off the hook. So tries to make the save here. There is T. Gray trying to spring Ocelon. Got it off the corner, but nobody there. Freaky just could not get to the central point. And now Guild looking for one more. Drop the hammer. Tho does. Three. Oh, we are going to go to game five. Most likely, I'm going to assume, unless a miracle happens here. Though punches one in, low corner. Guild figuring it out again, so it... Man, I don't, I don't know. This series has just been so odd. It really hasn't felt like anybody's ever truly in control. Most of the goals just coming off of mistakes. Um, on the other side, been a tough one to kind of read what's going on. Sure, we're going to game five. Hey, Guild has not won a game where they've conceded a goal so far in this round. Take that for what it's worth. They've got a pair of shutout victories, 1-0 and 3-0. And now they can try to close out Fadeaway, I guess. Uh, again, just a bizarre series. And I think the players know as well that this is bizarre. 
Like, they know that they're not playing up to the standards they would like to, whether that's in their control or not. Like, they know they're they're weathering the storm. This is all about survival here as we go to Champions Field for Game 5. Well, all on the line. Game 5, E-League, it, it's just how it goes. That's the script over yep. here. Round back five, back. game five. I, I'll bet you that's almost every round five match that we've casted throughout these regionals has probably been a game five. I would I would guess over 50% of them. Big Rig gonna try and bring that one down. Can't get the shot on target though. And though, so, that name, man, gets to me sometimes. <laughs> it's like, Nolly uh, almost cut this through. This is loose for scrub oh, killer though. Good placement. Now those follow up is still oh. there on the goal line, but this is, well, not really cleared away. That was, I think that might have been intended to be a pinch down the middle. That did not work out. Noli got up for this Ooh. in a hurry, and the doubles so saved away, saved. and Ocelon made another. Finally, they score it, though. What an attack run here from Guild. Up, Noli almost puts it in, makes the defense respect the fact that he's there for the double touch. Scrub, he's there. He goes, hey, if it's not going in, ball's coming to me. Takes the shot. Epic save on the line from fade away, but those first two shots takes everyone out of the box and opens up the net. Gray shot denied as he was looking for a quick answer. Again, he has been red hot in this series, but very cool over the past about six or seven minutes of gameplay. Gray right at Nolly. Chance for Guild to add to their lead. They haven't had many big leads. Though, he kept this central, but no power on the shot. Freaky led Tigre a little too far, so Noli's got to get to this ball. Corner boost is open. Noli will take it, and he may need it Ooh, to make wide. a save on this follow-up. No, that's a good stop by Tho. Now it's Freaky. Going up is going to be Tho. He calls off Scrub Killer. Good communication from Guild. As now Noli will look to hit Tho. He does not. Tigre getting back to form here early in game five. So through the corner, trying to, I, I want to see more pressure again. There was that moment that we just had on that goal. And I'm looking for that type of spark and play to come forward. Freaky, going to try and take a shot as Scrub Killer gets demoed off the field. But we've had like that one moment. That's, that's probably the most explosive moment we've had of the entire series. Where is that throughout the rest of it? Elsewhere in round five, Endpoint has just knocked out Oxygen, so Endpoint will be going on into the playoffs. Oxygen will be in the major without making the playoffs in any of the three regionals. Oh, what a save by Freaky, just barely keeping that out. But they haven't been able to weather oh. the storm against Guild, and they don't hear either. Noli delivers. Noli going off. He's that guy throughout the day that's been the goal scorer for this team. Taking him a little bit to get woken up here, but he's the one creating all the pressure and threat right now, kind of opening up the place. He's a huge, huge piece of that first goal. He didn't get credit for the uh, for the assist or the goal, but he's the one that opened up that play. And then again, double touch, just on the money placement as he puts it as far as possible from that defender, giving him no chance for it whatsoever. That man is one of the most accurate shooters out there. Tho needs a second touch coming off the side here to try and hit Noli. Instead, he'll have to play it himself. Scrub kill is up for this. Nobody else is. They had to go up to the backboard to try and stop that effort. And Freaky barely did. Tho looking for Noli again. Boy, what a tandem this has been tonight. Doesn't work out. Now Scrub Killer just patiently waiting. Got to contend with Ocelon, who's up in a hurry. Had to come off the backboard. Scrub Killer just right place, right time. Almost set up Tho. So, gonna be able to have an opportunity to turn on that one, see if he can create something here. Again, nothing really going on. Neither team at this point, they've kind of broken down. Up 2-0, but nobody's really making these plays for boost steals. No aggression in the bumps or demo play in their rotations. Just looking for something oh, here. Yeah, Tigre's gonna have Ooh. a chance here, but Fadeaway has got to start throwing bodies forward and just throwing caution to the wind. Doesn't matter how many goals you give up. If you can't score any of your own, Freaky will have this out of the corner. 
and Fedeway's got to get downfield now. Tigre does come up with a touch. Freaky won this through. Needed to get it out to Ocelon. Ocelon had to come up and play the ball instead. I mean, Fadeaway is just going so far back. And Freaky's such a defensively minded player, it's just instinct for him to try and go back and not get caught out, not give up an open net goal. But now oh. is not the time to play conservative. Down two with 40 seconds left. Freaky does get this deep into the guild corner, but though will keep possession. Nully avoids a demo. Ocelon's got to hit Tigre and he can't get the pass off as Scrub Kill is all over him. Just seems like Guild is a little bit faster here in game five. They are just a touch faster. There was an open net opportunity just moments ago there that Tigre could have uh, Tigre could have taken a shot at and he ended up just kind of hitting it wide. The open side was the other direction and the open side is the other direction as it is on their end of the field. Scrub Killer from the midfield gonna put it around Ocelon and out of reach of Freaky. 3-0 Guild most likely just secured themselves into the playoffs. Uh, yeah, not even most likely. I'll go no, ahead and call I, it Guild. <laughs> you talk I about know, I know. You talk about a team that has had peaks and valleys. This Guild esports team at times they look like they could be the best team in the world. And if this guild shows up, the team that showed up and picked up three shutouts over Fadeaway to win this series, then yeah, I'll give them a shot against anybody. Yeah, I mean, they came back. When they, when they figure it out, those moments where they start getting the passing plays, there, there are moments where like guild kind of clicks and everything comes together. And it's so much fun to watch. That one attack, um, that one attack sequence that they went for was just on fire. Just everybody there, everyone getting a touch, really opening up that defense and creating those opportunities. Um, if they can get more of that into their play, if that's occurring and they're they're utilizing that, they can beat anyone. There are times where they just click and the individual skill of these players is so high. Um, I'd love to see them come back up. You said it earlier, when they are clicking, they are a top four team EU. And I 100% believe and stand behind that statement that you made when they are clicking. But we saw five different versions of Guild through that series. And I think that that's their current issue. But they do edge that out and they are going into the playoffs. We'll see if they can piece it together tomorrow. And I think just as a result of their uh, of their record, I could be wrong, but I think they're going to end up going as the number six seed, which would put them up against. <laughs> of course, it would. I think they're going to get Vitality in the <laughs> uh, the quarterfinals. If I'm reading this bracket right, we're going to have Scrub Killer against Vitality. Boy, if it's, you're if your top blokes are BDS, you get to feel like you're dodging a bullet right now. It was written. The script <laughs> yeah, was right? written. And it will be fulfilled. There, it is a destiny moment, and uh, it's we can't avoid it. You cannot avoid destiny, fate, all of those things playing playing in here. As they <laughs> scrub killer versus vitality to kick it off. That's <laughs> well. Uh, that is uh, that is going to be yet to be confirmed. We will double check all of that. Actually, we won't double check all of that. We've done our job, so we're going to pass things off over to the desk. F dot, take it away. <laughs> 